Hi, this is Tabcat, and today I want to introduce my latest series. I'm actually going to be revisiting a game that I played some time ago, but I only made it part way. We certainly did our best to approach it intelligently, but we reached a certain point where we just hit kind of a brick wall and couldn't go any farther. And it's always rankled me, it's always bothered me that I couldn't quite crack it. And so today we're going to revisit that, and I'm talking, of course, about Battle Brothers. <laughs> um, yeah, I played through a test game before I ever started recording, and I did okay at Battle Brothers. And then I recorded a series after kind of taking myself to school by looking at what different people recommended online and thinking, okay, you know, I understand the game better now. And I got to part 36 of that campaign and had a complete wipe when we fought orcs. Killed to the last man, if I remember correctly. So that was the end. Um, we had lost, you know, all of our best brothers, and there was no way I was going to go out and recruit a bunch of level ones and be able to start and have any reasonable hope of success, you know, when the guys that I had couldn't do it. So recently, I've kind of taken myself back to school again, but I've tried to do it in a little bit better way. So uh, part of that was just playing the game again myself, honestly. So I've put about 40 hours into um, a couple of campaigns, just trying to get better, not just at the combat, although that's part of it, but also realizing, you know, what can I do to prepare myself for success when I'm, when I'm not on the, the map, the combat map itself? And I have improved, but honestly, in my latest attempt... I still couldn't get over the hump. I got to about day 80, and the, the crisis that came up was a war between nobles. And when I had to start fighting those noble groups, I, I could beat some of them, but you could tell, like, we're really overmatched here. And I knew before that, I could tell, like, where we had been on a good pace and and holding our own very well. It, the game's never easy and you always get beat up and you're occasionally going to lose men. Like that's that's Battle Brothers. But nonetheless, I could tell that it was shifting against me and when the Noble War started it, you know, confirmed. So, I don't know even now. Like I have an idea about what I did wrong and I'm going to try to fix that, but I'm going to try to do it on camera. So this is a challenge run of a sort, uh, but it's not the kind normally when you see somebody do a challenge run, it's something very grandiose, right? Like, you know, some impossible thing that, you know, will be very impressive if you succeed. Like beating Bloodborne using only a torch as your weapon or something like that. Well, I have a far, far more modest goal in mind. And that is, I want to get to day 100 and I want to be very competitive still. Like whatever the guys were supposed to be fighting at that level, you know, uh, I want us to be able to go toe to toe with them. And we're not losing, you know, multiple guys every fight or anything like that. So that's my goal. It's very modest, but I'll tell you, I have just under a hundred hours in this game and it has kicked my butt. I, I'm not going to lie. And by the way, <laughs> I'm only playing on veteran difficulty for the battles. I'm on the middle difficulty. Now I'm not even playing on the hardest. I have had so much more trouble with this game than almost any, you know, tactical game I've ever played, I think. So that is my challenge. And uh, my invitation to you, of course, is, you know, join me on this, this journey, if you will. And we'll see if I, if I am capable of finally cracking this game. Now I say a hundred days because you can play Battle Brothers indefinitely if you're good enough. Um, it's kind of a sandbox. There is a crisis that you'll face at a certain point. But if you manage to beat that one, there'll just be another one later. And there will always be another one later, as I understand it. I've never actually experienced that myself. I've gotten to the crises, but I have never come close to seeing them through to the end. Um, so I have, again, I've set my own endgame goal. I want to see if I can make it that far. And uh, if I can, then I will finally consider myself to have become a somewhat successful Battle Brothers player on veteran difficulty. What an accomplishment. But yeah, um, that's what we're going to do. So I'm not going to start the actual gameplay, but let me go through the settings. Oh, I should say I am using a few mods. Now we're not going to go bonkers with this. 
but I'm going to give myself a couple of advantages, none of which directly are like on the battlefield. I'm not like editing my stats or anything like that. Uh, anything to make combat easier. But what I am going to do, I, I mentioned in a recent video, it really irks me that there's no way to see what you're recruiting. You know, you, you pay a ton of gold and it's really hard to come by gold in this game. And you pay a bunch of gold and then you can just get some guy who completely sucks. And you just flushed it down the toilet because he's not going to help you at all. So I am using a mod called Smart Recruiter. And it'll let me see what the guy is capable of. Now, honestly, you could get a lot of the same value if I just printed out a list of the... Um, how can I say this? A list of the ranges, like for each background. If I printed out a list, I would be fine with just that. I don't really care about the specific value, but there's so many backgrounds in this game and I can't keep them all straight. And I don't want to have to keep looking off screen down at the desk. So I'm using this thing. I hope people don't mind. I'm also using a tactical tool tip. So this, this is on the battlefield, but again, it's just informational and it shows like the stats and abilities that your enemies have. That's something I would hopefully like if I reached a certain point, I might not need anymore, but I don't have the abilities of everything in the game memorized. So it's just something to help me remember like, oh, these guys can do this and that kind of thing. And then I think that's pretty much it, actually. I, I didn't want to go overboard with mods and, you know, give myself like extra gold or maxing out everybody's stats or anything like that. All right. So we will, I will, I will hold off on actually starting the new campaign until part one, but I wanted to do this little intro. I will go this far. Uh, I'll show you what we're going to do. So I'll use the rebuilding a company thing and we'll let the late game crisis be random. So it'll be whatever the game decides. I'm going to leave permanent destruction off because again, I, I think for me, you know, it would just be nice if I, <laughs> if I could beat the game or that's not even the right word. If I can survive the game for a hundred days in a normal mode of difficulty. And speaking of the difficulty, I'm going to leave this stuff right where it is. Starting funds high and beginner, because believe me, high is a very relative term here. And uh, the game is so stingy with gold, so stingy, even on this setting. And I have no interest in constantly having to grind for gold any worse than this already gives you. Uh, my my thing is, can I keep up here? I guess I'll go through this again, but I'm going to do it a lot faster. When we start part one, I'm going to kind of race through this and um, we're going to get playing. That's my goal. By the way, in terms of DLC, I do have the Lindworm installed. That was one of the free ones. I was tempted to add something like Warriors of the North, but I don't want to screw with um, the basics of the game. I just don't. I want to play the core Battle Brothers game and try to try to really, you know, make a stand here. And then if I manage to do well with that, I could totally see at some point coming back to it and saying, hey, you know, maybe we try Warriors of the North or Blazing Deserts or whatever. And I know Blazing Deserts just came out very recently and a lot of people would probably love to see it. I'm sorry. For me, though, this isn't about playing new content. It's kind of a grudge match for um, my failures of the past. And I really, really want to try to get over that hump. So that's what we're going to do. And we will start the campaign in part one. I'm going to call this one part zero and we will go from there. So uh, I hope you'll find it interesting enough that you want to come along for the ride. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.